Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is BZ Yeti and I'm going to be giving basic instructions on how to achieve a proper wheel forward alignment to help fit larger tires on the newer Toyota models. Arms being used today are SBC light racing arms for the 2007 Toyota 4Runner. A step-by-step -step process of how to achieve the alignment shown in the video is available in the description below. Here we see pre and post alignment specs that were achieved using this method. The main goal for final alignment specs should be a zero camber, caster between positive 2.5 and 3.5 degrees, and toe should be set as straight as possible. Here we see the position of the wheel in the wheel well of the vehicle. It is clearly too close to the firewall to allow proper range of motion without any contact. Both of the rear caster bolts are shown here in the correct position where the bolt is to the outside of the vehicle or closest to the tire. The front caster bolt shown here is in the wrong position and should be adjusted as follows. Quick note, when adjusting the caster camber bolts, ensure the keyed washer rotates up and that all the tabs are in good condition. A reinforcement kit is available from either Total Chaos Racing or Marlin Crawler, with my preference being the Marlin Crawler kit. This shows step 5 of the directions given below and shows the proper position before the upper arms are adjusted for the first time. The upper arm shown is in position E. This is the suggested position for max clearance of the firewall and good alignment specifications as shown earlier in the video. The E position is used for a balance between forward movement of the tire camber compensation, and more than two degrees positive caster for a good driving experience. A quick reminder that all positive caster added by the upper arm will push the wheel back into the firewall. All positive caster added by the lower arm will move the tire away from the firewall. To adjust the ball joint angle position on the SPC arm, Start by jacking up the vehicle by the lower control arm, ensuring pressure is off of the tire. Remove the large nut that retains the ball joint to the arm carefully, supporting the top of the tire to remove tension on the ball joint. Lifting the upper arm reveals the ball joint and star washer that guides the ball joint in the arm. Set the ball joint to the suggested position, which is one notch forward from the middle, labeled as E on the instructions. Ensure the groove in the arm is clean. Seat the ball joint and washer down carefully, and snug the ball joint down. Using the alignment machine, move the camber to 0 to 0 0.1 degree positive camber using only the upper ball joint. Torque down to 150 foot-pounds as specified by SPC. After confirming that your toe, steering wheel position, and camber adjustment using the upper arm is as close to the stated specs as possible, use only the front caster camber adjuster to set camber to zero on both arms. <laughs> 